Alright. Didn't really get much from the observatory. I could have probably learned another Corvax word. I should have done that. It helps. Especially with trying to figure out exactly how to get through a situation without completely messing it up. But oh well. What's that? Oh, it's just two structures. I thought it was one big one that we haven't really fully seen before. There's been a general pattern to some things. Oh, hello. This has a landing pad. This has many landing pads. Ah, because it's a trading outpost. Yeah, you know what? I do want to sell some stuff. Namely, just all the suspension fluids we've just been carrying around. I wish it stacked. I wish a lot of the things stacked. Mathematician Entity. Low! Rare silicate! You're low on rare silicate? Alright. The electronic life form fits itself, or flits between three separate replication experiments, all of which appear to be going wrong. Smoke rises from the resource vaults, and the manic entity's fingers are a blur on its control pad. It looks at me with wide mask lights and increasing alarm. Its casing lamps suddenly settle on my exosuit inventory, and it outstretches a metal arm. Um, well... Everything's going wrong, smoke rises from the resource vaults. I'm just gonna give it fucking an oxide. The life form manages to salvage one of its uh, experiments with my offering. It thanks me with an appropriate gift. Oh, sweet. It taught me how to make shielding sheets. Something I will never probably use, but maybe. Maybe I will, it'll be nice to have it. No, come back! I wanted to look at your ship! It looks so cool. Ah. Oh. Fine. Well, you know what? I'm gonna make it up for the fact that I didn't learn a lesson from the last Corvax. Okay, the electronic life form pauses its work, looks up and focuses on its mask on uh, lights on my visor. It waits for our request. I would like... Oh. Never mind then, I'll just get fuel. <laughs> I was, uh... I was expecting to be able to learn a word from him, but he, he didn't give me the option. Alright, let's sell some stuff. Nickel. I could sell nickel. We haven't really seen anything that uses it yet, so I'm fine with that. Suspension fluid. We're selling all of it. Just fuck it. Because I can get... I can pretty much get it from every single planet by this point, right? I don't even have to make it myself. There's a storm going on? It doesn't feel like there's a radiation storm. Oh. That's because it just started. Got you. Uh, I'm not interested in sip. I hope on PC there's a way to like leave weather effects on. Cause that'd be interesting. You just use my raw PC power. Okay. So what can we do at an operation center? Do I have to destroy my way into here? Wow, I am super far. I'm like super sneaky with this. I might have to blow up the door. Yep. All right. We're going to make sure everything is reloaded because we got shit to do. I don't know what it is about the guys guarding the doors. They suck. Oh, I gotta go quick. The storm is gonna kill me. Oh boy. All right. What's going on in here? We're in the war assembly. An automatic process is scrambled to the output of the terminal. I can make out a few words, but the rest is lost and static. They could lead me to the overseer's workflow and bring the facilities, uh, bring the facility back online. On an automatic process has scrambled the output of the terminal. I can make out a few words, but the rest is lost and static. They could lead me to the overseer's workflow and bring the facility back online. It says toxic first. 
So I might need all of the I mean the gas. Oh thank god. The electronics overseal workflow is restored. The system comes back online. Yay! I went through all that effort to get some blueprint I already knew. There should just be a system that prevents that. You don't get any benefit from getting a duplicate. No money, no anything. It's just it's just sadness. That's what you get. Ooh, but they have atlas passes at these places, so there might be cool shit inside of there. <sighs> Why do you have to crush my dreams, man? Holy shit. You know, that looks really majestic. Temperament Hibernator. So they just kind of float about for a long time, and then they go to sleep for a long time, and then they come back and they're like, All right! Let's just float around and be cool. Like little dragon things. I don't think all these ships are here for the trade post, just as a nope. Golly. Alright, we need more copper to build the rail shot adapter. I do want to see what that's going to be like. Do I even have uh, slots or a multi-tool for that? Yes, I do. Well, I see copper over in the, in the distance, so I just need to get back to my ship, which is hidden in the shadows. So it won't be spotted and taken out by the sentinels. Like, every single kind of thing we could grab right over there. Do you need health? No? Do you need a shield? No? Do you need your actual suit refilled? Uh, God, this isn't working. I can never be a salesman. I knew I shouldn't have come out to this planet. Alright. We're looking for a giant floating rock. I think we found one. For whatever reason, my fucking momentum is like completely shot. There we go. All right. I need copper. Whoops. I just want to see what the rail shot upgrade does for me. So it's amusing to me that, like, I can have items in my inventory and in my ship inventory and still be able to craft wherever. But as soon as you have, like, as soon as you're talking to a person and they want something from your inventory, they don't look at your ship's inventory and it just... That's just a little, little annoyance kind of thing. But, oh well. Rail shot adapter. Alright, let's see what that's like. So we'll swap it over, bolt caster. Hmm. I don't feel like it did anything. Yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like it was much of an upgrade. Boltcaster delivers instantaneous damage on targets. User will perceive destructive results simultaneous to the pull of the trigger. That means it'd be hit skip. Oh, we gotta reload. That means it should be hit skip. But it doesn't feel like it. Whatever. I can't tell the difference. I'm sorry, animals. I had to use you as test dummies to see if my gun was far more effective. Which, I don't know 
if I proved it or not, actually. So, it was a pointless test, and I apologize even more for it. Oh, hey. I ran out of fuel. Yeah, I feel all right as I'm getting attacked. Okie dokes. How many are they attacking me? Three. Wow. They really want, want my cargo. I get, once again, don't even have anything great. I love that you can completely recharge your shield just by going into your inventory and holding X. I mean, it's better than the alternative, honestly. Where you just have to like, oh, stop getting hit. But these guys are like fucking perfectly accurate. Like as soon as they're shooting at you, all of their shots hit you. It's like playing Call of Duty on veteran. You just have to hope that you kill them faster than they get to shoot you. Or else, ba bam Welcome to Damage Town. Ah, fantastic. Aluminum. That's exactly what I was looking for. The other guy died. So, uh, whoops. Going back to the planet over here. Gotta fill up my pulse engine with Thamium. Journey milestone accomplished. Destroy 30 starships. <laughs> I mean... Alright. I like that I can get that for both destroying enemy starships, like pirates, and then just like normal starships. Or civilian starships, I suppose. Did I just find a random plaque? That's good. So I'm really just trying to find a place to save. Whisper spill from the sharp edges of the artifact. We counted the dreams and memories of the Corvax echoes in my mother tongue. The Atlas interfaces await their arrival, the travelers, those who could who would seek the ends of the universes through its very core. Within the infinity of time of their arrival is probable. Their potential could know no bounds. One dimension in billions will receive them. <laughs> like, yeah, somebody will arrive eventually, I guess. We'll just chill out here for a while. The end of time. Intelligence. Me. Alright, so we're gonna be leaving the star system. I just spent like 10 minutes staring at possibly the stupidest fucking upgrade system to ever exist in the entire history of all of gaming. If what is told to me is true. Which I don't fucking know, because I don't fucking know! I really don't fucking know, it doesn't make any goddamn sense to me. Uh, on paper? Sure. So what I've been explained, or what I've been told, is the way that the system works is these things ha either have bonuses or, or don't activate unless they are adjacent to the pieces that they're supposed to be tied to, which, you know, on paper, that, sound, that sounds like it makes sense, but the way that the multi-tools come with the upgrades means you can't up, you can't move the really good upgrades 
to certain positions. So if I bought this rifle and it had like a plus five damage and it was over here, well, I couldn't move the mining beam over there. I would have to like construct a whole bunch of other fucking shit that I don't care about to tie it all the way over to here. And it's just stupid. It doesn't, it doesn't make fucking sense. And so I don't know if this is supposed to be uh, just a bonus thing or if it's supposed to be that's purely how it's activated. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking know. It, it, it baffles my mind either way. Because you don't have any full control over how this system is played out. And like, I even, I removed the life support module, I remade it there. It just seems like a waste of fucking time and resources because you don't get 100% of your, uh, the materials back. And sometimes you won't have the blueprints for some of the cool shit you might be destroying from, say, your starship or your multi-tool. And so, it's... It's just one of those, like, buzzkill things. Like, you look at your multi-tool and you find out for hours that it quite possibly has been actually just shit the same as the starting thing because none of your things were ever connected in the first place. It's... Fucking stupid. So, you know what? Fuck this star system. I hate it now. I'm leaving it. I'm going to the next place. Which brings us one step closer to the black hole, and legitimately, I could probably just leave this upcoming star system immediately. But we'll. We're trying to give each star system the benefit of the doubt, and at least check out one or two planets and see what they're like. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't like skipping planets, but. Depends on what's on them in general. Which at the moment is very light. Mostly because we don't have all the blueprints we need to... Uh, to actually use stuff. You know, it's like when you go to a planet and you can get like nickel and copper and aluminum and then you have a- you don't have any blueprints that really fully use them or the ones that do use them require like later materials. It's hard to kind of keep track of that unless I like made a giant notebook of shit to use and find. But we'll see. I like the looks of this system. Very pleasant, greenish blue. We have a trading outpost. Not really something I care for, but I can talk to a Corvex there. And obviously, I need to head to the nearest space station, which is that way. <laughs> Holy shit, that goes by so quickly. Alright, let's see what we can find. Let's see if this star system is owned by the Corvax or the Vi... Yeah, I, I forget their name. The Gek? <laughs> the Gek. The Gek are pretty simple. Corvax is somewhat simple. Then you have Vi... Vinex? Vinex? Somewhat simple too, I just forgot. You spend like entire systems not seeing one or the other. And that's uh, an interesting way for things to handle out. Recoil stabilizer. Well, I don't use the bolt caster anymore, so fuck me. You have learned the Corvax word for life form. I think that answers what we're going to be encountering in this place. Corvax. Ooh. Uh, actually, maybe we have seen the ship design before. Yeah, we've seen the ship design before. I got excited because I thought it was something we haven't seen. But from the front. Yep, we've been here. Still, I'll see what he has. And I'll be angry at him if he has anything great. Not like I have any money. 28 slots, that's really nice. See, like this doesn't make sense. So these photon cannon pieces wouldn't actually be activated. I'm sure things will be fixed, fixed by and no man's or uh, the no man's guy developers. If something's like obtusely fucking stupid or just not working the way it's intended, uh, they seem to have an idea of trying to get things out of the way. I mean, the fact that we get a day one patch that like nerfs the major exploit that people had before the game fully came out, that's good! That's great! <laughs> I just wish we had access to like straight numbers. Because if you had access to straight numbers, things would work out 
a little bit more. Uh, the lights in the electronics life form mask are dim, and its voice qu quavers. It looks to me with mild interest, but it seems in truth as if its mind is already uh, elsewhere. Upon seeing me approach it slowly, it slowly, yeah. As upon seeing me approach, comma, it slowly reaches to open the trade vault at its feet for me, but it is too late. The entity's light fades for a final time, and all that's left is a satisfied electrical hiss. Oh no, no, you, you stay alive, buddy. <laughs> I like how they say that, uh, That he all that he's kind of like fading out, but in reality, standing right in front of us, he's totally fine. You have to like imagine it, like oh, he's just dying out. <laughs> Don't worry, I got you covered. Re-energize. The disappointed life form blinks back online. It reluctantly opens the trade vault for me, and he gave me a karite sheet. Wow. That's insulting. A karite sheet. I can make- I've been able- that was the first thing I made in this game, buddy. And that's what you gave me for saving your life? I mean, I know I should be a good Samaritan and just be happy that you're alive, but haha. <laughs> a karite sheet, man. You might as well just give me nothing. Ah, well. Give me an isotope. Ah, <sighs> goddamn weird aliens. Ah, when we die, we upload our brains to a system, and then another thing comes in and uses our body. I can't have that. Not me personally. Although I guess it depends on quite a lot of factors. Oh, here we go. Three dimensional matrixes. Perfectly the amount I would need if I actually were to go through to upgrade my ship's, uh, weapon systems. Specifically, what was it? The advanced accelerated fire? Aha! There you go. Photon cannon fires at an increased rate. That would be very effective. But not at this time. Always operating under the assumption that I'm gonna lose this ship soon. Or not really lose it, just I'm gonna ditch it. Especially when we go through the black hole, we might be a lot closer and we might find better ships. Or just higher quality materials. Alright, so what do we have here? Trading outposts. Uh, I'll give it a look just just so it's, I don't feel bad. God, it's sticking me in the atmosphere upside down! Well, this looks like a really dry planet. <laughs> I don't see any openings of water or anything like that. It is called Old Qualdala Pug. <laughs> what? Oh lord, god, 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 god. This doesn't look like a very lively planet. Forsaken planet, unclouded skies, relaxed sentinels, non-existent flora, and no fauna. So there's no life on this planet. It's one of those planets that it's super dead, but there's tons of resources like gold and stuff. Yes, yeah, so I suppose. Hi. All right. What do you have? Corvax echoes. Low intelligence life form. Ouch. Power. The electronic life form is pleased to see me. It mask light, its mask lights burn an intense green while it projects two holograms into my visor. In one, the fragments of a complex equation are made whole and solved. In another, a number is boosted, added, and multiplied. It waits for my decision. Uh, well... 
I'm gonna go for the multiplied number. I don't know exactly what it's asking me though. It's like, I don't know if it's saying that I'm a low intelligence life form? And asking about power. Or if it's asking me to solve an equation about power. Not that I fucking know either. Or, so this is a 50-50 chance of anything. The fragments of a complex equation is made whole and solved. Maybe it's asking me to... to do something for a low intelligence? I'm gonna go for the solved equation. The life form triggers happily! My body is bathed in strange healing rays! Sweet! I'm actually... okay, phase beam, laser cooldown times are significantly reduced. I like that. Oh, I already have something like that. <laughs> That's funny. Well, thanks for the heal that I didn't have need at all. Yeah, we're fine. I want to, like, keep a note of these barren planets that have nothing on them except for lots of materials. But... I know we're going to be going through a black hole in the next star system, so I think we'll be fine. I'll hunt for materials in the next star system, or the one after the black hole. Yeah, just go ahead and leave the... the planet's atmosphere with a pulse drive. It's time for us to head... I, I don't have hyperfuel. Fuck. <laughs> Whoops! Let's make a warp cell. Fill up the hyperdrive. And then see if that's enough to reach the black hole. Yep, that's fine. Good. So hopefully when I pop out next to a black hole, I don't just immediately die or something. Although I'm very intrigued to see how No Man's Sky handles black holes. Am I just going to see nothing and get absorbed into nothing? Or am I going to get an interstellar level spectacle? I want an interstellar spectacle. Oh. Not exactly what I would say I figure a black hole looks like. But neat. Black hole discovered. It's look, it looks more like a wormhole. I mean, it's gonna act like a wormhole, so I guess that's the point. Whoa. <laughs> Performance saving. But still, man. <laughs> a black hole. I just wanted just darkness. A massive void with nothing around it. Because that planet, dead. Not around a black hole, man. Just, it wouldn't be there. It would have to be very, very far, realistically. Not that it has to be realistic, I'm just saying. It'd be neat. I wonder if there's anything interesting in this star system. We have a transmission tower, which means a chance for a cool ship, possibly. I might check that out. But yeah, I want like the interstellar level of black hole, where it's just this massive darkness that doesn't let light escape, but you still see all the shit that's around it. And so it just, it, it creates an interesting image. Not some, like, warbled energy field looking thing, but, eh, whatever. It's a video game. It does what it does. If we ever get a video game that's powerful enough to, like, simulate real black holes, <laughs> it'll be an interesting time. So how is it gonna expand it now? Ah, I like how, it, how it's been expanding the exosuit, by the way. So, like, it just kind of goes down, and then across, and then down, and then across, and I, I, that's amusing to me. Even though it's making me poor, constantly upgrading my suit like this. 
I need to stop upgrading my suit for a while. Just so I can build money back up. Otherwise, I'm just gonna constantly be broke. Which kinda sucks when you're trying to get ships and stuff. Or even just buy certain resources. 